In this video, I'll show you how to fix the Steam Disk Corrupt Error. If you found this guide useful, then please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, then please consider leaving a like. And let's get right into this guide. This error is really annoying, so let's get into some fixes. Firstly, you need to go and close down Steam. So go and quit it in the top right like you usually would. But then what you need to do is go to the bottom right of your computer and go and tap on the Show Hidden Icons button and then go and look for Steam. As you can see here it is and then what you need to do is right click on it and then go and tap on exit and this means Steam is now fully closed. Now what we need to do is go and open up our file explorer just like so. Then you need to select this PC and then you need to go to the drive which you installed Steam on. For most people it's going to be your local disk C drive, your first one here with the windows icon. Double tap there. Then go and tap on program files and then you need to go and find Steam. So scroll through here and see if you can find it. If you can't find it in program files then you need to go and check program files x86 like this and then scroll down and here it is for me then go and double tap on it. Scroll down until you go and see the option for Steam apps just here and go and double tap on that there. And then what you need to do is go and locate the downloading folder. This is where all your games are downloaded to. So what I recommend doing is changing the name of this folder. It basically sort of resets things and hopefully goes and fixes the problem. So to do that, all you need to do is right click on it and then you want to go and click on show more options and then you can go and tap on rename just down here and then you can change it to literally anything. I'm just gonna go and change it to down like that but you could put anything just like this. Then what you want to do is go and close off of your file explorer and you want to go and relaunch Steam um, and that's gonna go and sort of reload things and hopefully go and fix the problem. Check to see if that solved your problem. However, if it didn't, all you now need to do is go to the top left and go and tap on Steam. Then you need to go and tap on settings just like this. Now, what we need to do is go to the left hand side and go and locate downloads like so, and then scroll down, or we just even look down to see the option for clear download cache. It says clearing the download cache might resolve issues downloading or starting apps. So press there like so, then press okay, and then Steam is gonna go and clear the cache, so just wait for it to do its thing. And now here we are, I'm now back on Steam. So once again, go and see if that fixed a problem. However, if it still hasn't, then what we need to do is go back to the Steam settings. So go to the top left of Steam, and go and tap on Steam and then go and tap on settings and then what you need to do is go over to the left and tap on downloads and then go and tap on Steam library folders just like this and you're going to go and see your storage manager. Then at the top you can go and see where your games are stored. As you can see I've got one game here. So you need to go and select the drive which you've got your Steam games on. In this case I have this uh, game here. Then once you've selected the drive which you download your games to, all you now need to do is go to the top right of it or just sort of near the top right and you're going to tap on these three settings dots here. And then what you want to do is tap on repair folder like this. And then as you can see it will say repairing folder. You go and get a window screen pop up which unfortunately I can't go and record uh, which is why you had that black screen. And then it's going to go and say repair folder and it will say done and hopefully that will go and fix the problem. It may take longer if it goes and detects any type of problem with it. So yeah, hopefully that goes and fixes your problem. If it still doesn't, then what I recommend doing um, is trying to go and restart your computer. That can often uh, resolve the problems as well. And maybe if that still doesn't work, is try to uninstall Steam and then reinstall it. Um, so yeah, if you guys found this useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.